Hi there, so I'm still fussing around with this Drake pair, the R4B and the TX, T4XB, and the manual said you could slave these together and have the receiver control the transmitter frequency or the transmitter control the receiver, and indeed that works. So you have to put a cable in the back of it, which is roughly here, this cable goes to the um, injection on this receiver and on this transmitter. So you have to get that injection plug in. There it is on the uh, transmitter and on the receiver. There it is. Okay, so once that's in, it's interesting because if I want to use a transmitter to control the receiver, the transmitter is basically the master on this operation. So. You can say, I want to control by the transmitter, so you put this knob on the transmitter in transmitter mode, or transmitter. Um, if you go to separate, they're both separately then controlling their own destiny with frequency with the uh, VFO PTOs here. But in transmitter mode here, the transmitter is controlling the receiver. And so here I'm on 80 meters, or 3.5. I'm on 3.5 here on the receiver. And I'm roughly here at like uh, 5, 6, 7, 3.9 basically right now on both radios. So what's cool is now, here's the receiver. There's no signals here to pick up worth mentioning, but I can go to the transmitter now and vary it. Turn on the calibrator on the uh, receiver. And you'll see that I'm tuning with the transmitter on the receiver. I thought that was pretty cool. You can go back to the receiver now. And right now the receiver has no control over its frequency. It's off. You can go back to the receiver now. And control it too. So that's a pretty cool trick. And what I found is when you're using a transmitter to control it, um, you'd better also make sure that this is lined up pretty well because the injection frequency is partly tuned by the um, pass band here, I think. So you can see that that matters a lot on the uh, received signal where the transmitter pass band is. And just to make a check, if I peak this on the pass band on the transmitter, it's at about S8, and if I then go to the receiver, well, that's not fair. Let's, let's do a zero beat test. Okay, there's the receiver zero beat. It's a 10. Peak it. That's about a 10. Back to transmitter. Zero beat it. It's about a nine. So the signal is a bit weaker. Let's try and peak it up a little bit. So yeah, so my injection frequency from the transmitter is probably a bit weaker and what else would do that i don't think loading would matter here with rf gain let me see i'm not transmitting really nope that doesn't matter would this matter i think it would nope so that's purely from the uh, injection which i now forget how that works exactly but it's kind of cool. Anyway, that's how to get your Drake pair working. Um, I could also have the receiver control the transmitted frequency. And I would need a third receiver to check that. Or a second receiver to see how that works. But I assume it works. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.